Hello, I'm Dr Razor and I work for Service Point Europe. We provide help and spares for all of your Razor products. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to change the controller on your crazy car shift. Remove the steering wheel by loosening the Allen screw in the centre of the wheel. You don't have to fully unscrew it, just loosen it and pull upwards. Undo the Allen screw that holds the battery cover in place. Now open the cover to gain access to the battery compartment. Undo the Allen screw that holds the battery clamp in place. Now unclip the battery connection by squeezing the retaining clip at the side. Now unscrew the cable clamps at each side of the controller. Unscrew the two screws holding the controller. Disconnect the three white connectors by squeezing the retaining clip at the side. Each connector is different, so you can't get them mixed up. Now unwind the cable link. Now unscrew the four screws that hold the on-off switch in position. Make a note of the different screws and where they came from. Disconnect the two red wires from the on-off switch which are connected to the controller. Remove the controller. Screw the new controller in place and fit the cable clamps. Now make three of the four connections, leaving aside the battery connector. Rewind the cable loop. Connect the red wires to the on-off switch. Now fit the on-off switch and using the correct screws. Now fit the battery by placing the battery clamp and pushing the connectors together. Close the battery cover and tighten the Allen screw. Refit the steering wheel, making sure the lug in the tube locates in the channel of the steering wheel. This ensures the steering wheel is in the right position. Now tighten the Allen screw. That's it. If you'd like to know more about Razor products or you'd like help on ordering spares, please email us on and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.